We are nearing the start of Orbital Outpost, and in just five levels, we'll be able to play it. Now, to those of you who are paying close attention, you'd probably notice that I actually got a new chest plate. Yep, it's a green tier one Warforged Mage armor. And yeah, I ended up getting it my daily reward as seen in this screenshot. But man, five levels is honestly like nothing for this dungeon. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, we were getting like levels literally every single round. Yeah, last episode, episode was honestly great we dropped a freaking legendary and a dungeon cosmetic which is honestly one of the better ones in the game but man i really don't know how we'll do an orbital outpost while steampunk sewers has definitely been cakewalk orbital is a much more difficult dungeon and then after that it's volcanic chambers which is ooh, that stuff is hard yeah i really gotta appreciate how easy this dungeon is right now because things will not stay this easy this quite literally has probably been like the easiest dungeon in the entire series and oh, we also got Greg. I believe I should be able to do him in just one phase. We'll see. Oh yeah, we could definitely do him in one phase. And with that, we got a bunch of trash. At least we got two materials. But here we are on the final boss. It's not really even a final boss considering the fact I one-shot him. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we got three pieces of garbage. Now, it's been a little bit since I actually posted the last episode, and since then, a lot of things have changed. For one, they completely removed the event, which is kind of sad, but they also added this board, which has encrypted messages. And I believe this is related to the next dungeon, which I believe is going to have kind of like a void theme. Yeah, it's apparently going to be kind of crazy. And of course, with this change, we all also did get the goliath raid back with the previous one removed so man let's play our first goliath raid ever also i just realized we can actually play tier 2 now since we're level 130 but yeah we should be able to just like one shot him oh yeah easy oh i got a cosmetic yo hey i'll take it and we also did get a ring but it's warrior i'll probably go and like wait to collect my daily reward until we hit orbital insane which i can guarantee we'll be able to do i swear this dungeon has just become so easy also we leveled up to level 131 but this is definitely a huge high for the series and i do not expect things to stay this easy and i think i'm probably gonna use dual pulse waves just because i two shot them even with this ability yeah our damage is unbelievable truly this dungeon does need like a huge buff because there was clearly not some good testing here but yeah i'll probably just go and use like the base armor just because of how cool it looks and i could try to go for the tier one helmet although i don't know i might do it or i might not we are nearing like orbital outposts so it wouldn't provide any damage benefits so i don't know potentially i will and honestly like the tier one armor matches pretty well with like the tier two helm also back to back greg okay i'll take it bro yeah i'll take greg any day of the week yeah even with paul swaves to greg i still do such good damage and also we got more trash however we did get two materials yeah two materials is always a good drop for me even the boss does like barely any damage to me how is this even possible but we got three pieces of garbage again really the one huge downside to orbital outpost is that we won't be able to use speed spells anymore since the dungeon is a lot shorter than most of the other ones it would be kind of like broken if they had speed spells you'd literally be able to do the dungeon in like a minute but at the same time i always love using speed spells because it makes the game a lot more enjoyable you know it makes tearing through the monsters much more smooth and especially in dungeons like underworld and samurai palace walking through the dungeon without speed spells is so tedious yeah honestly i said it before but speed spells were probably like the best addition this game could have ever had and yeah similarly to steampunk sewers with orbital outposts we will have to get another 15 levels however as seen at the, the progression in this dungeon it's gonna be pretty fast and we got a bunch more trash now boys if you look at where we are at you will see that we're officially inside of tier two and oh my gosh he does nearly half my health i probably shouldn't be using pulse waves but this is kind of scary yeah i know i kind of like immediately jumped into this but boys if i play smart i think we'll be able to win if not now it will probably be with like orbital outpost stuff okay and he just did like this fire attack oh my gosh bro bro i'm locked in i'm locked in okay honestly there's probably like no chance we're gonna be able to win this but i just kind of want to test where our damage is actually at right now also he just went into shield phase okay yeah if we can get him to half i'd probably be pretty happy with that but this attack oh my gosh that was brutal okay and we died for the third time 
time, okay. And we didn't even drop anything because the event ended. Alright, well, I'm definitely saving my last daily challenge for when we get Orbital Outpost gear. Boys, we are speedrunning. And something else about when we hit Orbital Outpost is we'll be able to get our final egg, which will give us another Excalibur rune. Now, something I really wanted to talk about is the next dungeon. Because after looking into it for quite a while, I think I kind of know what is going on with it. I'm really hoping they go all out with this one and really just make it exceed Yokai Peaks. Because when this thing will release, which I believe is either in like October or September, it will have been almost a year since Yokai Peak dropped. So if this stuff isn't like the best dungeon we've ever seen, it's gonna be a little bit disappointing. But this is definitely not like the best loot I've ever seen. We keep getting trashed. But yeah, I've been talking about the next dungeon for a very long time at this point. Because dude, I've been wanting it probably since like the very beginning of the year. I think the first video I ever made on this channel after like a one year break was on when the next dungeon would be dropping which was like six months ago but yeah we've all been anticipating this dungeon and hopefully it really meets our expectations because if this dungeon is bad i'm gonna be like quite sad and also we reached level 133 and also we did get greg but back to what i was saying the one thing i really want for this dungeon is it to not be like actual cakewalking for it to not be like extremely easy like how yokai peaks was but to be honest i have kind of of a bad feeling that they will make it like extremely easy to appeal to kind of like the newer players and ooh, we got a purple spell blade that's actually not bad but yeah this has been the most anticipated update for like the last year so hopefully it's gonna be good also we did get a bunch more trash and with the new dungeon i'll probably like either stream it or like post a bunch of videos on it i'll probably do a mix of both because i do really want to enjoy the update and with like spamming content, I feel like it won't be as fun. But yeah, they should definitely revolve like the house of the monsters and bosses around people with like a god pot purple set along with the champion's destiny or oracle's ascendance. Because if they don't do that, the dungeon will be honestly just way too easy. And let's be honest, most people have those sets at this point. But one thing I could really respect about V Caffey is he did not back down with the dungeon, which I'm really hoping Voldex does do. But also we got more trash. But not gonna lie this dungeon has kind of got repetitive as much as i like just kind of speeding through the dungeon being able to very easily kill the mobs the map is quite bland and orbital outpost doesn't beat that out really although i guess some parts of orbital outpost do look good but honestly like it takes volcanic chambers to actually be better and also we've been getting like greg after greg after greg i can't remember a single round where we haven't gotten greg yeah our greg rng has been actually god tier and oh yo dude we did not just get that yo oh my gosh let's go we got a purple mage helmet now i recently kind of thought about a flaw with the next dungeon which would entirely ruin it if true but the flaw that i kind of thought of is with greg which is that if the next dungeon has greg in it the issue will be that people will get gear from that dungeon without having to complete it because as you all know greg functions in the way that if you kill him you will get dungeon from your level or your I guess difficulty so like on my main i'm like almost 10 levels above the next dungeon requirement so that means i'd be getting next dungeon nightmare gear through defeating greg and yeah it literally doesn't even matter i could do greg from desert temple and get next dungeon gear so i'm really really hoping that they don't make it next dungeon gear and they make it yokai peak stuff because that will be a huge kind of flaw with the update but i'm pretty confident that they will do that i don't think they'll just completely ruin the update like that but with that the boss is defeated and we also got a new like chain attack spell but boys one more level yeah i would imagine that like greg loot drops would update with the daily rewards because daily rewards kind of had the same flaw but really thinking even ahead of the next dungeon i would not like to see like yearly dungeons i, I hope that they do speed up their dungeon updates and you know i can kind of give them some leeway with them of course being a new team and them kind of fixing what v Caffey did wrong well fixing to an extent they did kind of add some things that were not good but for the most part their changes have been great like dungeon reworks new events but i'm really hoping we see dungeons like every four to six months i think that's probably like a reasonable amount of time to release like a grand dungeon and of course still seeing like monthly updates as we've been seeing before yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see what dungeon quest player count looks like after this update because dungeon updates are usually when dungeon quest is the most popular so honestly we could probably see like twenty thousand concurrent players 
Blasters, which would be a very, very big high. But with that, the Cannon Blaster is dead once again. And also, we got like this freaking rainbow spell or whatever. Also, the spell that we just dropped called Overcharge, from what I've heard, is actually like a very good spell even for Orbital Outpost. So if this is true, we probably won't need to go and like trade for any Orbital spells. But man, it's this game to where we'll level up. Honestly, progression has been faster than ever, and hopefully it stays that way. But I really don't know about Orbital Outposts. Orbital will be extremely difficult. However, I know we're capable of doing it. Also, I wonder if they patched, like, the weird camera glitch that I did last episode. Oh my, I got kicked, what? Yo, okay, well, I think the game thinks I'm literally exploiting if I try to do this glitch. Alright, well, I guess I'm just, like, an exploiter today. But that's a little bit unfortunate because we were, like, very close to leveling up. However, like, this group of mobs, yep, should be enough to level us up. And boys, we can now finally play Orbital Outpost. But as per usual, let's go and collect our daily. Maybe we'll get something good. No. No, we did not get something good. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go and try to get, like, a decent set from this dungeon. And I'll just cut to when I get it. And ladies and gentlemen, look at this drift. Yeah, this might be one of the drippier sets I've gotten. But yeah, I did just keep the abilities I got from Steampunk Sewers called Overcharge. And I don't know how good this actually is. Okay, it seems pretty good. It just did like three ticks that were actually kind of powerful. All right, well, let's play Orbital Outpost for the very first time. Man, this is the dungeon where the beginner journey ends. We are now an intermediate player. And also, look at this map. It is honestly pretty cool. But of course, testing out our damage, we do... Okay, I didn't even hit them. Oh my gosh, no, our damage is not that good. Yo, it's not that good. It's definitely winnable, but our damage is not great. The spell does have a very short cooldown, though, so it should be a lot better. Yeah, we can, like, pretty quickly kill the mobs if we're careful. But of course, let's go and collect our final egg, which is this, like, dark blue thing. And that was it. We now have, like, the random Excalibur thing or whatever. But honestly, our damage is good enough. It's not great, but it's definitely beatable. I guess I'm used to, like, the insanely high damage of Steampunk Sewers. But if you just, like, spam the ability, it's not too bad. But here we are on the destroyer which is honestly probably like the coolest boss in this dungeon this boss is so unique compared to others like he does this fire attack which if he actually lands will give you like this cool fire aura and you have to like kind of avoid touching your teammate it, this dungeon is honestly like insane also you can kind of see like the space background through this little window they very much outdid themselves with this dungeon also now that we have a much better set we should be able to do tier two or at least come close to beating it but passing the first boss, we are now on this next group of monsters. And having gotten zero deaths, we are literally on a no death solo. The one downside to this spell is it doesn't have that much range. And you do have to get a little bit close. However, getting close to these mobs isn't too bad because they move pretty slowly. I would say that like Canel's mobs are honestly harder. I said our damage is bad. Honestly, like this is very, very easy. Like I see no possibility of us losing. And man, the dungeon to come is honestly going to be like the hardest one so far far get excited because volcanic chambers will be like a whole different game also we got our first death which honestly i'll take considering that we got all the way over here but here we are on the tesla master i honestly really like this boss and i think that he should be made into a cosmetic yeah i've probably mentioned it before but this guy is like so drippy although probably the easiest boss of like the three yeah well this dungeon isn't like all that detailed i think that it does a lot of things great especially bo bosses as well i think the bosses from steampunk to this dungeon are a huge upgrade but this dungeon would truly be like the last kind of like standard dungeon because the volcanic chain would introduce like a whole different type of monsters and bosses and would definitely bring a lot more realism into the game but also we got greg it is like every game oh my gosh there's no chance my greg rng is this good but yeah this is probably like the easiest two cycle ever to get two materials i'm honestly happy with that anytime we get two materials i'm like very happy but also we're on lord Varash, who is the hardest boss in probably all of the dungeons i've done so far yeah this this guy is extremely difficult. Oh my gosh, I already died. No. Yeah, the memories of last series fighting this guy are not that great. I also kind of forgot to get my daily screenshot, so... 
I guess we'll just take it like right here. All right, well, we only have like one minute and 30 seconds to kill this guy. I wonder if we'll be able to do it. Yeah, our damage to this guy is not exactly amazing, but it's definitely winnable. Oh my gosh, 40 seconds left, please, please. We gotta actually really lock in if we're gonna win this. I don't know why I had to take so long on my screenshot that was so stupid i'm locked in i'm locked in i'm locked in come on please okay all right we survived that if we don't die okay we just died oh my gosh no 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 we have like six seconds left yeah not gonna lie we are kind of screwed well it is what it is bro honestly that was like the most free dungeon ever i just took like way too long with the screenshot but yeah i don't know why like the other excalibur rune is not showing up so i don't know maybe we'll have to do like the new easter eggs from the new two dungeons which will probably be a problem for another episode but yeah let's go and attempt tier two and see if we can beat it with this set bro if we weren't able to beat orbital i don't know if we'll be able to beat it with this set but bro i'm at least gonna try yeah our damage is definitely not great but we do have three lives and i have a revive potion that i'll use if we so need it okay we're doing pretty well right now however things can always change also we got our first death no doing this without speed spells is pretty brutal also we got him into stun phase but we have to walk like 10 miles to be able to hit him again dude i'm locked in i'm locked in all right he's back oh my like what the frick was i supposed to do bro he just did that out of nowhere there was no cue whatsoever oh my gosh we're about to die again no 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 no, 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 no. Where's my heal? Bro, where's my heal? Dude, do I even have a heal? Okay, I have life pulse right here. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Dude, no, no. Okay, bro. Yeah, not gonna lie. I, I don't even think we'll be able to do it with the revive potion. Boys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been kind of living a lie because this mystery matter spell is like 10 times better than overcharge. Well, maybe not 10 times, but it is quite good. So yeah, I'll probably be using that. But ladies and gentlemen, we will be winning this run. I can 100% guarantee it. Also, looking at our XP boost, we have still around like 90 hours of luck boost and 87 hours of XP. So we're still pretty like... We're we're still definitely chilling with boosts and yeah this spell is like 10 times better we literally just like two cycle the mom yeah i don't know what i was thinking using that other spell this spell is just like so much better also we just got burned to death no yeah the thing i definitely like about this spell a lot more is that it has like a lot of range yeah i freaking love this spell the range that it has and like the area that it can hit is just so good it definitely would seem like a bad spell but honestly it is very great Really, it's just more satisfying to use than anything. But man, honestly, I'm so hyped to play the next dungeon. What I really want to do is get this account to like level 205 and then just play on like all of my noob to godly accounts. So play on like the old noob to godly account, this noob to godly account, my main and then my alt and just like do a bunch of rounds to get them very high level. Yeah, I'd probably do that on stream. But dude, I could actually get like such a powerful army. Bro, imagine for the next dungeon having like four all to just spam collect daily rewards that would actually be just crazy yeah i would highly recommend that if you're like very high level and you don't have any alts go and grind out some alts like use as many devices as you can and just grind up an army of alts because trust me it will be worth it for the next dungeon however one thing with having a lot of alts is you have to have like a good team for like yokai peak that would actually be willing to carry them which is kind of rare to find because nobody likes carrying someone else's alt but lord virash you will not win this time man this this guy is honestly hard something else that he does is he also heals if he hits you which is even worse yeah i can't recall any other bosses that do that there might be some in the previous dungeon but i think this dungeon actually introduced like healing bosses oh wait no pirate island did that as well but it's kind of a concept that isn't really used that much but with that lord virage should be dead also we almost leveled up we're like a sliver of xp away but boys i got episode 11 on the screen for you guys so definitely go check it out because we will probably be making it to nightmare mode but for now i'll see you guys later